Monday. It's about it's about 7.30. We just got done with the one hard set. As you just saw, we did 10 pull-ups, 30 push-ups, 30 squats. Now, those sound like small numbers, but again, the philosophy here is just to hit one hard set. Following the K-Bogs philosophy, if you haven't been following along, we're just giving ourselves, our bodies, some stimulus just with a quick one hard set of each workout instead of doing a whole hour. I have a whole day to get to with school and other activities, so that's why I'm incorporating this first thing in the morning because at the end of my days, I would like to go to boxing, and boxing is something I wanna do Monday through Friday. By doing a one hard set, I don't overstrain my body, you know, I'm able to do it every single day because I'm trying to build the habit of showing up to fitness. I don't wanna give myself something that's so difficult that either it makes me sore the next day and I can't work out, or it's so, it's so much that it's dreadful. Like, I don't wanna hate waking up to go do calisthenics. So, by starting small, starting with these one sets, and I'm done after them, it's, it's gonna build that momentum and that compound, it's like compound interest over time. Anyway, so, just got done with that. Feeling quite tired because these, well, we're on week three, I should be saying, actually, too. We're on week three now. We just had two weeks and the past three days when I was recovering because of the thumbs. If you watched last week, I was very sore because of boxing with my thumbs. I was throwing punches incorrectly. Yeah, it's it's crazy how just three days of rest and I was getting back into working out and it just felt so weird. I was more tired than usual because my body wasn't like keeping up with this load every day. But yeah, the plans for today. So as I just mentioned, boxing later tonight during the day. Just sit down, get some homework done, work on projects that are due later this week. Next, I'm going to do my shower system, which if you saw last week's video, I did a detailed little review of it. After that, we're gonna uh, read our master vision from Maxi, and then we're gonna do a Maxi meditation over there by my cushion. And then we're gonna meditate, put on some incense, get some good smells in here. Actually, I think I wanted to try a new routine now that I think about it. I wanted to, after my shower system, go straight into eating after I eat as I'm letting my food digest because I hate getting into work immediately when I eat I can use that time to read my master vision and then meditate and that'll be like 15 20 minutes of digesting and then I can go head out to the library or cafe or so right now I'm playing around with routines playing around with you know if I did this thing first in this order how is the rest of my day Going to be and this is something I really want to emphasize for the audience that is going to be watching me um, one always instill the philosophy of 80 20 so always be thinking to yourself you don't have to answer it today you don't have to answer it tomorrow you don't have to answer it next week next month but just tell your subconscious mind all right what 20% of the inputs that I do and the actions I take can lead to 80% of the results so you can start learning how to condense your actions to very productive actions that propel you forward. Like one action will take you five steps ahead. It's like, what? well, what can you find that? Because the other 80% is just kind of like busy work and you're gonna be doing a lot. It might, it may burn you out, but it's not leading you to the, the, the results. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing it justice, this philosophy, but it's something I've been learning and hearing about. With that, you need to start crafting your environment around you. And once you have your environment kind of working in your favor, which helps reduce the friction between all the habits you want, you can start, you know, now, now you really anchor down what are the best actions in what order that bring out the most energy in me that is super seamless from one habit to the next and so that's just what i'm experimenting with it's every week is going to be experimenting not trying to overstrain the body um, with heavy workouts and too much workload because boxing is going to do that for me already so yeah like for you know like i just said Swapping around my eating times and my meditation time is something to play around with this week to see if it works in my favor. So hopefully you got some value out of that. We've been talking for a while. I appreciate your attention and time. Thank you so much. So I guess I'm gonna wrap it up here. Monday's day is over and I'm gonna move on to my next habits. So I'll see you on the other side. Peace. All righty. So I'm ready for that meditation. Actually, let me show you what I'm sparking up right now. Right now, some spiritual healing. Need to heal that spirit. So, I got one. And if anyone knows what this thing is to my left here, if anyone you know what that is, you mouth fucking shut, all right? <laughs> There's some experimental things going on in there. Actually, it's kind of out of commission at the moment, but it'll be back in use at some later point. So, if you guys know what's up. But right now, we're just setting up our incense thing, putting it on our window. We like to get some sunlight in here, and I'm going to... So we're gonna 
read through the master vision, get the intention set for the day. And then after this, we're gonna play maxi, a maxi meditation called Manifest, which is basically just a visualization meditation about your future self, where you're at, and you're visualizing like where you're living at, the people you're with, etc., etc. This should just take about five minutes to kind of just scan through, just to remind myself what my, my new version of myself is, my pro self. And then after that, we're gonna visualize that pro self with that meditation there. So that is on the agenda. And then after we're gonna go to, well, today's actually President's Day. So things are closed around here. I was like, oh shit, Fre you know, freaking holidays pop up. It's crazy. But yeah, we're gonna find like a cafe or something and just grind out some homework while we can. And then we can enjoy our day on this holiday. I guess celebrating presidents, I guess that's a thing. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. All right, time to meditate. So today is Wednesday and we completely did not record Tuesday's day. And I'm just going to say here that we took that opportunity of a rest day because, again, even after the three days of resting from last week's from Friday to Sunday, or I should say Sunday to Monday, I rested. And then last Monday when I did go to boxing, again, my, my thumb, this, this region just, it was killing me, bro. It was killing me. And again, as you try to do push-ups or pull-ups like this, muscle hurting just prevented everything so you know i just took it a day to rest and uh i got to do some other things around the house but now we're here we're here for wednesday so i have to the sooner the better i get into the workout and getting to my day that's the plan so after this i'm gonna just do the workout i'm not gonna film it i'm just gonna do it because the filming just slows me down so i'm gonna do my workouts and then we're gonna do our shower system after the shower i'm gonna go make breakfast i'm gonna go eat that breakfast and then i'm gonna do the master vision meditation after and then we'll go to a library or a cafe or something to do uh homework for the rest of the day so that's the game plan so i'll see you guys all righty i actually just sw switched over to my ipad so this is actually the <laughs> this is a camera i've been using on a tripod I bought this thing three years ago, the Sony a7 III. Very expensive camera. Only thing I don't like about it is, see this mirror? It doesn't come to the front so I can like see myself, how I'm positioned and all that. Little rant, but this iPad quality is looking great and this is the front facing. So anyway, tangent. All right, so did my quick one hard set for the morning. 10 pull-ups, 30 push-ups, and 30 squats. And man, my, my body today was just feeling like, ugh, not today, bro, not today. But we still did something. It's better than nothing. And now we're going to go on with the rest of our day. We have our habits to get to for the morning. And then we're just trying to get ourselves into the library as soon as possible. Just to start cranking out the homework that's due. And later tonight, plans on going to boxing. And I really got to ask the trainers. I've been quite, I've been, I've been shy. I don't know if I've been anxious. It's not that I'm necessarily anxious, but I just really keep to myself. Like even if some things are going wrong, I just haven't made the initiative to like ask the coaches like, you know, what should I do? What should I do? You know, if this thumb thing is going to persist, then I really need to like figure out how to prevent it. So I think I need to like get a, you know, hand wrapping tutorial from them. Like, hey, could you watch me wrap it and then just tell me what I did wrong? I'm going to need some help with punching. Just, <laughs> am I supposed to punch down? Like, I know I'm supposed to hit my knuckles. So, because I realize that as I'm punching out, I'm kind of, my thumb is kind of in the way. So that's something to fix. But I took last yesterday to recover, so hopefully my thumb is okay. So yeah, let's do let's do some things we're grateful for before we uh, conclude this. One thing is I'm grateful for glasses. Would not be able to see you without them. I'm really appreciative of that because my eyesight decided to go to shit <laughs> in like high school out of nowhere. I'm grateful for my entire family. I'm grateful to have my parents still in my life, and you know they provide a home for me to live in, they provide food in my stomach, they provide a lot of love and care, and they've taken care of me my entire life, so I'm deeply, deeply grateful for them. Same thing with my brother, very grateful for him. Um, it wasn't over the pat, you know, it wasn't until fucking high school in the past few years that we've really bonded, so I'm really grateful that I have my brother for life. Grateful for technology, like right now I'm recording this on an iPad, and then you know, later on I have a MacBook that I, I edit this thing in and I have my MacBook that runs my entire life. I have an iPhone, so I'm extremely grateful for that even though it sucks so much of my precious time away from me. You know, that's more of my self-control kind of problem. Grateful for this incense holder, burning up some incense right now. 
I'm just, I'm grateful to be in possession of everything in my house right now. I think this is something I'm, I should try to include every day because the practice of gratitude is extremely powerful and it's extremely good for you, especially over the long term. It helps you with that positivity thinking. It really helps you with your, you know, especially as I'm trying to like really better my mental health. You have to kind of force your mind and your vessel to really do positive things, think positive things. So, some food for thought. All right, guys, I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. See you in the next update. Have a great one. God bless. And I need, I need like a motto, bro. I need something to like say, you know? All right, adios. Cisco. So this vlog is going to be all over the place this week because I was inconsistent. And, you know, I was kind of feeling, not that I was anxious about this vlog series, but, you know, I really wanted to commit to a daily thing, you know, with my fitness and obviously the recording because every day I want to better myself, especially in how I speak, especially in how I commit to things. I just wanted to come here and just describe what has happened up until this Friday today. So Monday you saw, I did my workout and I went to boxing, but Tuesday was kind of a waste man's day. I didn't do any physical activity. Um, nope, like not the calisthenics, not the thing. I made plans and those plans fell through and I was just like kind of waiting around. I learned a big lesson there with like coordinating time schedules with people, making sure they commit to what they say and things of that nature. Tuesday was that day. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it very brief. And, and then Wednesday, I did my shit. I was on it, which you'll see in the video. Um, I recorded on Wednesday, I believe. And I went to boxing on Wednesday. And then yesterday was Thursday and I didn't work out. I didn't do anything, but it was, it was a big moment for me because if you watched week two, I was talking about how I'm trying to build my competence and everything. And especially with my social skills and, you know, I'm going out to meet guys and girls, girls in a romantic sense and then males in a friendship sense met with the uh, Tinder shorty. And let's just say I got some cardio done. So I did work out that day. So it was cool. I got really out of my comfort zone. I was very nervous to be meeting people, but pushing through that discomfort and then it all working out in the end and it all went f like smoothly, went fluid. It was good vibes. Everything was, I was uh, really happy with the outcome. It worked out for me. And you know, I got to build my skills, got to build that muscle of like pushing through things that make you fearful, doubtful, um, things of that nature. Like, you know, when, I don't know, at least for me, when I'm gonna go like meet people, my body just gives myself some signals that are like, yo, fuck this, run away. Like, you know, what if they reject you? This or that in the nature. But right now I'm trying to instill in my brain an abundance mindset. You know, there's 4 billion women out there, okay? And I can't be condensed down to just, you know, what's in front of me and what I have access access to, I need to be able to be okay with any outcome that ever occurs. And so even when I go to meet people, I, I can't be attached to the outcome, even though I am initially because I'm like kind of new to this and getting out of my comfort zone. But over time, like as, as you speak with people, things click and then you, you get the hang of it, then it's fucking light work. And then now you're like, okay, so if, if you know, this chick is going to waste my time, then kick her to the curb, bro. Like it's, it's fully in your control. This is what I'm working on, at least for my my frame of mind is you have to construct it where people are being added to your react like your world your reality people are going to be a part of your story because for so long i did the opposite and i was being a part of someone else's and you know if you're trying to be a leader if you're trying to lead your family in the future and you know you all of your decisions are so critical and it's especially important with the people you pick and choose to be in your life. So that's why you need to be very careful, but that's why you need the abundance mindset because not everyone is perfect for you and you need to be able to di differentiate and to make a distinction of who's going to best support you and your, and your vision for the world and your mission for the world. You know, you need people to accent and long winded. So now we're here at Friday and to be honest, I did, I woke up pretty late today. And uh, I, I just got schoolwork to get to, honestly. Like, it's been kind of stressing me out. So I'm just gonna do the master vision stuff today, do my meditation just to kind of cleanse a little bit of anxiety, or at least attempt to. And I'm gonna get straight 
to the library and I just need to study for an exam coming up and finish up on a project. So yeah, you know, just behind the scenes, I'm focusing on my education. Fitness is a main priority, but just this week was a very off week. I was prioritizing different things. So, you know, I'm grateful that I got those experiences that I did. Helps me learn more about the world, about myself. But you know, now we gotta, we gotta tighten up. We gotta focus up and, you know, do what I pay for. Without the thousands and thousands of dollars going into school, bro. So yeah, um, probably not going to boxing today because my birthday is soon and I think tonight go have dinner somewhere and like chill. So I'm just gonna be doing homework till that point. But today just, today has to be a school day. School day, school day, school day. So hope you guys understand. It's not, I mean, it's not like anybody's watching this shit, but you know, slightly disappointed that, you know, I didn't stick to my word. I think it's good to be self-aware of the mistakes, confronting them, talking about them right now. And I can only promise to do better in the future and stick to my word. You know, this isn't like a gun to my head, like if I don't do it, I'd do it. But you know, it's just for me personally, like you, you should, you gotta stick to what you say you're going to do. Cause then around you, the people will trust you. And most importantly, you'll start to trust yourself. And that, that's something I'm really trying to learn and pick up. Like, like if I'm gonna verbalize shit out into the universe that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Like you really have to put your money where your mouth is and you have to do it because the people around you will hear you talk, talk, talk. And then you have no accolades to back up all the shit you're talking about because you don't do any work. And it's just like, people don't think you're a loser bitch, bro. Straight up. Sorry. Action is, you know, you need evidence. You need fucking evidence, bro. So, you know, it's no food for thought. Do my meditation now and get on my day. I'll see you in the next clip.